Franco wants you to choose. He's already got Sam. He lost his chance with Carly. Who does he take next? Franco's done a lot of research on me. The final lot. I mean, as far as I can tell, he's got everything that's ever been written about me in a newspaper or online. And that includes my trial for killing Alcazar. Where Elizabeth testified that she slept with you. Look, I don't think that he's going to go after Elizabeth. Lucky, I think he's going to choose somebody a little more present in my life. You know, maybe Sonny, but Sonny's too hard to get to. Spinelli, uh, uh, Edward and Monica, I don't, I don't really see about, them anymore. What about someone closer, like one of Carly's kids, or even Jake? Frank Oden has no idea there's any connection between me and Jake. The way I see it, we're basically screwed. I mean, Franco is ten steps ahead, he knows how you think, and he already has one hostage. But I should just tie you up and leave you by the fountain in Rice Plaza with a big note on your chest saying, Here, take him. Return Sam. All will be forgiven. Love the PCPD. If I thought it would work, I would do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you didn't ask for any of this. Maybe Jax is right. Maybe it's time to make it an official manhunt, you know? Put out APBs, bring in forensic teams. No. Well, I mean, if Sam is listed as a kidnap victim, we, we, we'd have access to FBI resources. And once they okay. find out Franco's a potential serial killer, they're gonna pull out all the Just stuff. You think, you think about that, okay? You're the one who figured out Franco's warning. What, play nice? Wait, if, if I bring the cops in, Franco will kill Sam and move on. The only way for me to save her is to do this how Franco wants. What if you're wrong? Huh? Then Sam dies. But it's because of me. You know, I tried to talk Sam out of going back to you. Not because of me. Sam and I were over but I care about her. I'd like for her to stay alive and things like this they just keep, keep happening around you. Anyway, I gave her this, this big lecture about how dangerous you are and you know what she said to me? She said, I know what I'm doing, Lucky. Sam accepted the risk. You're worth it to her. I can't say I agree, but it's her choice. And it's her life that's on the line, so we're gonna do this Sam's way. No APBs, no police involvement. But I'm still gonna go check on Elizabeth, just in case you don't know Franco as well as you think. We'll talk soon. Seriously, leaving the country tonight. It's the only we? way to ensure your safety, Michael. Where will we go? Europe? No, Franco lives in Paris, so I think Australia would be a better bet. Uh, Jax wants to take us all and leave the country until Franco's found. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. That's okay with you? Yeah, I, I don't need your statement right now. You're free to go from my end. Have a safe trip. Thanks. Thanks, Lucky. I'm going to call the pilot for the plane ready. These hospital volunteers are going to be the death of me. They get my forms and they move them around like musical chairs. It was chairs. the volunteers. It was me. I did it. Are you trying to torture me? Actually, I came in early and put in all your orders for you. You did that whole stack by yourself. Oh, you can check the receipt if you want. <laughs> well, now this is the nurse Weber I remember. Praise for the epiphany. It looks like my kid sister's back on her hand. Yeah, well, it's about time, don't you think? Oh, I'm a little distracting. Please, I've been driving myself crazy for weeks. And you're not anymore? You'll be happy to know that I am finally clear with what I want. Lucky and I are in love, and Nicholas and I are over. Does Nicholas know? <clears throat> Can I have a 
word with you, Dr. Weber? Nurse Weber, I need the files of Mr. Hornberg in room 210. What can I do you for? Well, I, I have some issues with a few of the changes you're trying to implement around here. Well, as a board member, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. Right, well, I'm not only a board member, I'm the chief trustee as well. Um, and I don't approve of the emphasis you're placing on our trauma center. And the ER is on overload as it is, and now you want to take in patients from the North End and Greenfield? No, those cases should be transferred to county. Well, our ER is much better equipped to take those patients. We can provide them with much better care also. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I understand that, but that care often turns into long-term care. You understand you're, you're overtaxing the rest of our facilities here. Now, I realize that you built your reputation at Memphis Mercy, but here we can't afford your ego. Why don't we cut the crap, Nicholas? I know the truth about you and my sister, and you don't like it. My relationship with Elizabeth is none of your business. I care about my sister's happiness. The night I got to push on, she was crying. She, she has nothing to do with me being here. Okay, all right, fair enough. If your problem really is my vision for this hospital, then please, please, by all means, bring it up at the next board meeting. Well, I welcome the chance to defend my position. You know what, doctor? It behooves you to make an effort to get along with me because the chief of staff needs my approval, you understand? I take pride in my word, Nicholas, and never make decisions on a whim. Revamping this ER was an idea that came to me after careful, careful deliberation. Right, of course, assuming that the board would just fall in line with that? Well, we'll see, won't we? We will, we will. And just because you're Elizabeth's brother, doesn't mean that you're going to get any favors around here, especially not from me. I'm well aware of that. Can I speak with you for a minute? you have with me we're going to resolve right here right now hey epiphany is elizabeth around this thing in between us is over we've got to stop doing we, this we've tried and it hasn't worked no you're not hearing me no i hear you and what i hear is you keep denying the truth and the truth is we've been friends for a really long time and i just want to go back to what we had go back that's elizabeth that's impossible Look, you tell me you tell me how I'm supposed to stop feeling what I feel for you. I don't Go. know. I don't know. Look, I love you. Right? I love you. And that's not going to change just because you're telling me to stop. 